working on digging out the pond. It's gonna be right here. Actually, been mo moving the dirt that we dig out to the front area of this uh, kind of a flower bed, whatever. We're using these retaining wall bricks to hold that dirt up. That was all there previously, but the ground's on a hill, kind of sloping down to the front. So we're trying to make it level all the way across so the pond will be level. So just an old piece of OSB I had laying around that I used to hold that dirt up so I could make that edge kind of straight across right there. And then uh, we'll come on a little bit of an angle this way, go back about a foot away from that rear retaining wall and go straight across. So it'll be approximately six by nine with a little bit of an angle shape on this front edge so it's not exactly rectangular. And then over there where that mound of dirt is, we're gonna kind of construct a little waterfall feature coming down into the pond. So making a little progress but got a long way to go. Hello guys. Not sure how well you can see this shape. Not really much of a shape either. Kind of, <laughs> kind of a rectangle. A couple little curves but I think that's what we're going with for the uh, finished size of the pond. I'm gonna try to get that uh, liner fit in there and see how that works out. And then figure out how to put the waterfall feature back in that corner um, and get some power to that. Uh, I did get some stone today uh, for my edging. There's the load of stone that I got. We'll see how far that goes. Uh, probably I need a few pieces to uh, configure the waterfall feature and then uh, just kind of edge around the, uh, the edge of the pond. They say the, the lining should overlap about 10 inches and then uh, you need some something to kind of hold it in place. So this stone will hopefully do that for me. But, uh, I'll see you when I get the liner in there. So there's my liner. I'll, act, I'll try to get that fitted a little bit better across the bottom. Um, not real worried about it, but uh, start putting some stones around the edges to hold it and work my way around. It's a little bit of extra liner, which is good because I'm probably gonna use some pieces of it uh, for my waterfall feature to just kind of make sure that that water is uh, not leaking out somewhere over here because I wanted to kind of set it back a little bit from the pond and have it kind of work its way down a little stone step stair kind of thing right here in the corner so all right starting to take shape a little bit got a little more work to do with this edging stone you can see where the waterfall feature is going to be back there in the corner but making some progress We're introducing some water to it. We'll see how it works out. You can see over there on the uh, waterfall. I use some waterfall foam between the stones over there. Once that cures really good, tomorrow I guess I'll trim some of the excess foam out of there so it doesn't look so globby. Um, and then cut off some of the excess lining around. and uh, figure out where to put some plants in. Got gonna order some lotus seeds and try to grow a couple of lotus in there. I gotta get one more fitting to connect the uh, pump to the back of the waterfall feature. Uh, I need a, uh, an adapter to connect that hose to it. But, uh, looking good so far. So there she is. I gotta trim up this excess liner around the edges and fill in some dirt in a couple spots and then uh, try to get some plants around this thing to beautify it a little bit. Uh, I thought it was even across 
and as I filled it up with water I was obviously able to figure out what what's level and what's not so I had to work my way around on this side and part of this edge and I kind of pick up the stones lift up the lining and shove dirt underneath it's nice because the water holds it from going too far um, so I had to kind of raise this edge a little bit um, so it was more even across still a little higher on the back side um, than on this edge but uh, all in all pretty happy with it unfortunately that big box store pond filter box over there that's supposed to be so great floats to the top of the water so you can kind of see that orange red brick sitting on top of it trying to hold it down um, I've seen several complaints on I googled it and saw several complaints online about people having the same problem with that filter so I may end up changing out that filter system you can see the water's pretty murky right now because it's got a lot of dirt in it while I was messing around with trying to raise this side and move the stones around and whatnot so um, and my daughter was in there jumping around like it was a swimming pool so hopefully some of that dirt will settle to the bottom overnight and we'll have another look at it in the morning but I'm pretty happy with it so far I gotta clean up a few things around the edges and uh, like I said get some plants in here but uh, I think it came out pretty decent